my name is Jenna and today I'm here to do my fourth writing update and yes I have changed the name from writing vlog to writing update no particular reason I just decided to do it so <laughs> Huh. October writing goals were to read the manuscripts that my friend sent me, to do an edit letter for her, to plan the remainder of my YA contemporary, to plan the remainder of my YA fantasy, and to plan the remainder of my adult fantasy. So five goals, I completed one goal! <laughs> I read the manuscript from my friend. So I have not done the edit letter yet because I needed to sort of let it stew and I'm still letting it stew because I, I really don't know how I feel about it. And I planned nothing. <laughs> it literally was yesterday. So I'm filming this on Halloween on the 31st of October. Yesterday, no, Thursday, two days ago is when I finally sat down and went, nano starts on Sunday. I should probably plan something. Yes, Jenna, you should have been planning all month, but no worries. I, yeah, I read the manuscript, which that's something. But I still need to do the edit letter. And I... I mean... I planned a little bit for the Y Contemporary. So I opened the document and I found my outline. <laughs> I had such a hard time. I'm positive that I've lost a bunch of the document as well. Because I definitely remember writing a scene at a funeral under a tree where they ate cake. Can't find that scene anywhere. So that's not a thing anymore. Unless I was just... I might have been imagining it, honestly. I really might have just been imagining it. But I swear I wrote it. Maybe I wrote it in my mind. So I, I did open up the manuscript and I skimmed through it. I didn't read everything. I just skimmed through it and picked out little parts that like caught my eye that I went, oh, did I write that? Really? So I, I do need to reread what I've written before I can continue. But honestly, all I've wanted to do this month, whenever I had a little bit of free time to like sit down and write or plan or do anything, all I wanted to do was write Julie and the Phantoms fan fiction. I didn't end up writing anything. I mostly just read a lot of Julie in the Phantoms fan fiction, but I do have a whole story planned in my head. I've got my OC, she's like top tier, and I've got the whole story planned out. I just haven't quite figured out the ending yet, and I'm sort of sitting here going, why are you writing a Julie in the Phantoms fan fiction in your head, Jenna? You have actual fiction that you need to be writing. But in my defense, my entire life has been taken over by Julie and the Phantoms, so why would I not be planning a fan fiction for it? On the bright side, I haven't actually been taking up writing time to write that fan fiction, although it might be like a nice, fun, ex well, exercise. It might be fun, like just, I need to write, just write something fun and see what we can do with it, which is nothing. That was October. I completed one out of five goals and I tried to write Julie and the Phantoms fan fiction. Not an overall great month. Now we move into November, and November I have one well now I have two goals because I didn't write that edit letter but I have one main goal and that is to write 50,000 words because I want to win NaNoWriMo and it's funny because I was not planning on doing NaNoWriMo this year I said at the end of last year Na that's it I'm done I'm never doing Nano again and then I was meant to be going to New Zealand this month and obviously that fell through so now I'm doing NaNoWriMo again <laughs> uh, can you hear the nerves there like I'm I'm nervous about it because I have never wanted to win NaNoWriMo as badly as I do this year. I think 2020 has taken a lot from me, it's taken a lot from most people, and I need a win this year. And to pull off 50,000 words in one month to finish a draft would be a win. So that is my goal. I made myself an accountability calendar. I'm going to be doing accountability updates. I haven't decided where yet, and I'm I'm determined to do this. I'm determined to write 50,000 words. I have finally decided what project I'm going to be working on. I am going to be working on the YA Contemporary. So I have a little bit of planning to do, obviously, but I'm hoping to just sit down and write and see where it takes me. One thing I will say though is I've sort of realized, so my way contemporary has always had a lot to do with music. And I think the reason I want to go back to this story, funnily enough, is because of Julie and the Phantoms, because that was such an important story about music and how music really helps people. And I think in the back of my mind, I was doing the same sort of thing with this way contemporary, which I started way before, just so everyone knows. And and I finally sort of realized, yep, I need to to make this a story. I need to write this. And then I realized I need to write a song for this book. And I've never written, well, that's a lie. I have written songs before. They've not been good songs, but I've written them. And I've only written lyrics because I can't write music. So that's something else I'm working on. So every day this month, I've worked on it a little bit, just when like lyrics come to me, I'll write them down. And I've got lots of different lyrics. I just don't know how they will fit together yet. So that's 
a thing that I'm trying to do. All in all, I have confidence in myself for NaNoWriMo this year. I think it's the first year that I've really been determined. The most I've ever written in a month was 41,000 words, and that's huge. So I'm planning on project hopping maybe a little bit. So if I finish my YA Contemporary or if I get to a point where I'm absolutely stuck and cannot continue, I will project hop probably to the adult fantasy because that's the one that I have planned out the most. And then I will come back, but I'm really not sure how that's all going to go. I'm really wanting to focus on the YA Contemporary. I'm currently sitting at approximately 17,000 words for that manuscript. And I think I figured out each part because it's a story told in three parts and each part should be roughly 20,000 words. So by the time the project finishes, it should be at approximately 60,000, which is a nice number, I think, for a YA contemporary, especially a debut contemporary. So obviously already having 17,000 words, it means that I won't need 50,000 words to finish this project. So I will eventually end up project topping. But for now, these are my goals. Write that damn edit letter and write 50,000 words. Um, wish me luck. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below if you are participating in NaNoWriMo this year and what your goal is because I would absolutely love to know. If you like this video, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. See you random. Bye.